Hello everyone. Today is the day before Thanksgiving 2020 and I want to encourage everyone to be thankful. We have a lot to be thankful for. I want to draw your attention to Isaiah 45 verse 15 that says, Truly you are a God who hides himself, O God of Israel, the Savior. You know, so often those of us who have been in the church, um, who have been in the system of Christianity, have been around all kinds of programs and all kinds of hype, all kinds of spiritual gifts. Uh, personally, I've seen tons and tons of spiritual gifts being um, falsely displayed uh, by people who say they have gifts when they really don't, but they try to fool the people. Others who have used their spiritual gifts for profit uh, and some who have even fallen away from the Lord ultimately. But it's not about all of the goosebumps and all of the thrills that people supposedly get when they go to church. God is a God who hides himself. Okay, what does that mean? Well, go to Psalm 32, verses 8 and 9. The Lord speaking says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curved with bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. What God is saying here is that we need to learn to walk in God's way without feeling his presence, without feeling something on the outside that's making us move to do something. You know, we don't need a voice to say, don't commit that sin, don't do that wrong thing. Instead, do that right thing. No, we don't need to hear a voice like that. God doesn't want us to be led like that. He says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Okay, if my eye is upon you, you may not notice that. I'm not saying something you can hear with your ears. And I'm not leading you by some kind of a feeling. I'm not pushing your body one way or another. What I've done by teaching you this way is to teach you to be independently righteous, to walk in righteousness because that's what you are inside. So today I want to encourage everyone to be thankful for what God is doing in the earth. Well, what is he doing? Our president just lost the man that we thought was bringing back righteousness to this country. Well, no, Donald Trump did not lose. Donald Trump will be declared the winner of this election. And I believe that that is going to quickly lead to the implementation of God's kingdom on the earth. Recently, I was led to write a new song. It's called Anticipating. The words go like this, watching and waiting, anticipating. Anticipating because your kingdom is coming into view. Watching and waiting. Anticipating. Finally, I will see you. The battle is over. Your kingdom is come. My mind is set on you. Armageddon has come. The enemy's undone. Now the sons of God will rule. Armageddon was the battle for the mind. Armageddon was the final battle for mankind, and it's been going on for a long time, a very long time. Who can even say when it began? Did it begin back in around 1500 when they began to convince us that the earth was not really flat and that it was a globe? Did it begin before that? Well, I believe that Babylon the Great has ruled this world for millennia and that that was the commission 
God gave Donald Trump to bring down Babylon the Great. And when we see him rise victorious in the coming month, we are going to see Babylon finally falling. And then shortly after that, we are going to see the kingdom of God arise. As the song goes on, it says, The rulers kept your people in dark. They terrified us with fear. Armageddon, the battle of the mind, they were always keeping us in fear. Fear of this disease, that disease, what you ate. Oh, it was going to kill you that you ate butter back when I was 20 years old. And then eggs, and then meat, and then charcoal, meat that you grill. You know, the charcoal is going to kill you. On and on. The rulers kept your people in dark. They terrified us with fear. They waged war relentlessly till our minds couldn't hear. There's so many people today that are so confused that they don't know anything about what's going on. Some of them even voted for Joe Biden. Un unbelievable to think that a Christian or anyone, anyone would vote for Joe Biden. Unbelievable. And the song continues. For 2,000 years we hungered and wept. For 2,000 years we mourned. For ages and ages, your sages have kept the truth about to be born. God's teachers have continued to teach for millennia that the kingdom of God was coming. The kingdom of God has come. The kingdom of God is within us. The Lord teaches us to make that kingdom our life, to renew our minds according to his word. And now the kingdom is actually going to come. We are going to see the kingdom actually come. So let us be thankful, and not just because tomorrow is Thanksgiving, but because our Lord is coming. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is coming. I am thankful. Have a great Thanksgiving. God bless you.